In this cloud world, we believe that we have the opportunity to create the world's best cloud platform for data, the best place to put your data. This means this maximizes the dividend from data that you have. And so this is our, this is our vision. We imagine that if anybody has a dream of what they, what they can do with data, I call it the data dream, right? If you have that dream, and if the data exists anywhere, either in public domain, like tweets and stuff, is it, is it uh, customer intent because they are searching for certain terms on the, on the internet? Is it, is it because of data that you have on, in your company or in your personal computers? We can combine all of that to fulfill your data dream. So the big question is, what is your data dream? What is your data wish? Let's get to work on it together. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. I think we're going to sort of tune towards uh, a new demonstration around IoT. Perhaps you want to tee it up, maybe talk about some of the things going on around IoT, and we can showcase some of this new yeah. technology. So let me, let me give you a little bit of a few examples, right? We talk about the stuff about data dream and so on. It is, it is not some fantastic hallucination. Right? We have real customers doing interesting things. First of all, we have established players like GE Healthcare who are making, play, making huge bets on the cloud. And so they, they essentially have decided to go to the cloud. They're taking a very pragmatic approach. They're taking their entire uh, uh, data center infrastructure. They're keeping it all. And then they're moving some applications to the cloud. And then they're taking the next step of moving some of the parts, database parts, to the past, where it's not so critical. Mm -hmm. And where it's really critical, they want to rely on the, on the experts to run it nicely. So that, that's one example. Excellent. We have Aerocrine in Sweden. They, they, have, they sell asthma devices, devices to monitor asthma patients. And those devices are connected to the internet just to monitor the health of those devices, because it's so critical for the patients. And so they have an interesting solution where they use the data platform to do preventive maintenance on their devices. So they call up their patients and say, hey, I know you're dependent on these devices, and, and we think those devices need some tune-up. Well, can we come and talk to you tomorrow to take care of your devices? And that's an interesting one. Excellent. And uh, we have several customers like that, and, and we have uh, several examples. So, IoT seems to be one sort of a uh, dominant theme, and we have Pat Sheehan, uh, who is in the audience here. Uh, Pat, if you could show a taste of what this is like. Thanks, guys. So what I'm going to show you today is an example of an IoT solution that we've built with a customer on Azure. So what we see here uh, is what we call a foghorn alert system. We have some centrifugal pumps that are pumping hydraulic fluid. Each one of these pumps has a sensor. We also have sensors at the valves and along the lines. What we're doing is we're capturing metrics every single second. So we're looking for things like the temperature, the pressure in the lines at the valves and the inlet, uh, what our flow values are through the system. Uh, what we're looking for specifically is cavitation, meaning gaps in the fluid as it flows through the system. If cavitation occurs, we can have a systemic failure. So a pipe could burst. Um, we had that happen in San Bruno a few years ago. That was a terrible tragedy. So this particular solution was built specifically to address that issue. So this is our pump cavitation dashboard. So we actually have multiple pumps that are streaming the information back. This is all being reported directly from Azure in real time. So we have these one second drops hitting something we call uh, an event hub. It's a stream ingestion. So we ingest all of the messages, and then we run analytics on it in real time and draw it out to the dashboard. And as it's drawing, I can actually drill into some of these reports and get more details. So I can look specifically at the average inlet pressure for one of the pumps within the line. We've tied it back to a couple of other things as well. Specifically, um, and I'll switch over to my architecture diagram so you can see it. We've tied it into. Uh, SQL, so we actually have document DB where we're going to start storing the, uh, the JSON docs that are coming through. We're putting the raw files directly into blob storage, and then we're building Hadoop clusters over the top of it using HD Insight for MapReduce over time. So our ingestion is seven days. I can look at data for seven days on my dashboard, but if I need to see something over a broader range, I'm going to run a, a MapReduce. And then we've tied in Azure Machine Learning. So we can find patterns that indicate pump cavitation 
while eliminating false positives. So if I see pressure drop, I don't want to immediately shut off a valve and turn off the pump because that doesn't indicate cavitation. But if I see a combination of pressure decrease, flow decrease, and temperature decrease, that pattern indicates cavitation. And therefore, we must take an action on the system. And that action would be to shut down the pumps and to close the valves. So here are the components that we're using. Uh, and this literally took one day to set up, one. And half of that day was talking about what we were wanting to do. The actual plumbing building this, maybe two, three hours. We stood up a service bus with an event hub. So here's the event hub here. As you can see, we're keeping seven days worth of messages. It's click, 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 configure, done. Next, we set up stream analytics. So you have an input, data being streamed from the device. You have a query, and that query is written in a SQL-like language. So our query here is basically select averages, sums, maxes, mins, et cetera, from the input. And then our output is sent to our uh, blob store. That's where we build our Hadoop cluster. And then this is our machine learning algorithm. And we have some sessions on this today. So make sure you join those, uh, learn more about machine learning. It's exciting stuff. All right. All right, thanks, All right. guys. Hey, thank, thank you, Pat. Yep. Appreciate it.